All right, so welcome to the Universal Language of Love. And this week's video is about truly connecting and not just tuning in, but actually tuning your intuition. And I was talking to a man this morning, just a colleague of mine, who was sharing that in each moment, he knows he's intuitive. He knows that he's able to tap into what his intuition is. But he wanted to know what is the difference between when you follow your intuition or you don't? How do you know the difference? And the truth is you always know. So there's a deep, almost like inner knowing within you that already has the answer to every question, to everything you ever want to know. And when you tap in to its power, to its love, you know what the next step is. And he asked the question, what is the difference between the thoughts that run through your head and your actual intuitive guidance? So here's what I told him. The difference is you feel your intuition in your body. You feel it as a visceral kinesthetic experience of energy moving through you. So the doubt is usually what follows the intuitive action. It's usually your conscious mind trying to catch up with what your body already knows. So if you think about and have studied anything about the subconscious mind, it's about 80% of you, right? So those of you who have taken the intuitive success coaching certification program and talk about the subconscious mind, right? So when you're deprogramming the subconscious, which is every learned behavior that isn't true, that running that runs our lives, when you decondition that and you align it with the truth of your intuition, you're on the illuminated path of your highest potential because you're no longer run by the triggers or the disconnect within your subconscious, you're aligned with the truth of your intuition, with your knowing. So the way I want you to envision your life right now is from this place of your truth, of your intuitive knowing. So I'm gonna give you a few moments just to close your eyes, drop in, visualize yourself connecting straight into source through you as you. So bring your energy down through your heart into your gut and just releasing all doubt, all fear, any external circumstance, just really move your awareness inwards. And when you connect to that place of love within your gut, that neutrality, that intuitive knowing, go ahead and allow your head to nod. So you're just subconsciously or consciously going to nod your head. So knowing what the truth of love feels like, so the truth is we have access to the whole spectrum of emotions, to everything we can possibly experience. And each emotion has a teacher, right? It has a message. So when you are faced with some kind of circumstance, decision, emotion, ask, what's the message? So what is the emotion telling you? What is the circumstance telling you? And what is it that you need to know, right? Those are the three steps. Once you get those, you're going to start moving in alignment with your truth. Now, the truth is always going to be based in love. It's going to feel good to your body, right? Because you are, you're taking care of your subconscious mind. You're taking care of your body. You're taking care of the whole integral part of you. Now, with infinite faith, which is really infinite connection to source, which is you, right? The capacity of you is truly infinite. So when you're tapping into your intuition, you're tapping into the steps of, if I do this, I know this will work. If I do this, maybe not so much. So you're going to actually feel with your body. And yesterday or a couple of days ago, I was dancing and I could feel the movement again from my hands, right? So you can all bring your hands together and start to feel the energy of movement through your hands. So you're actually connecting to light through energy and you're feeling, hmm, how does this feel? How does that feel? And you're just moving into alignment with what feels best moment to moment to moment, right? So... As you're moving in alignment with love, you're moving in alignment with your intuition. Now the path is going to unfold and you're going to learn things along the way, right? But the key is to listen to what your body is telling you, to listen to what feels good. And when you move forward with what feels good, just the next step that feels good. So you don't have to rush like clear to the end, right? You have your intention in mind, so your long-term goal, but each step there is one step on the journey, right? And so as you think about your long-term goal, your outcome, you're going to take moment by moment by moment steps towards it in alignment with what feels right. So I invite you now, and a lot of you might have already done this from the Six Chakra and the Intuitive Success Coaching Course, but I invite you, and I'll do it with you, to write your vision. So this is just your long-term goal, right? And I was just reading something um, in somebody's newsletter that said, 
like you're being, um, following your vision is selfless, not selfish, right? Because when you're actually serving in alignment with love through you as you, you're gonna serve others in the world around you. So go ahead and take a few moments and I'll actually write it down with you. So I'll give you about the same amount of time to write down your long-term vision your long-term goal, and you're going to ask that it's verifiable in all five senses. So what that means is can you taste it, smell it, feel it, um, see it, hear it? So you're actually going to be in the experience as if it's already happened, okay? So go ahead and write your vision now. I'll do it with you. Okay, so once you get that vision, you're going to imagine, again, that you're already living it now. So, um, go ahead and see yourself there. And so, full color, right? See yourself living the life that you want. So you're in it, take a deep breath, smell it, notice what smells are around you, feel it in your body, notice how your body feels. Taste it, notice what it tastes like. Take a deep breath in. Okay. And then smell it, so fully do it. Once you feel that emotion just really building in your body, you're gonna put one hand on your heart, the other hand on your belly, and I know the color that runs through you and let that color contain that frequency of what it is that you're creating. So bring that all the way up and down. And now you can use this color as a waterfall of light and love to actually pave the way. So it's gonna flow through you from your future self, even if it's just a moment from now, all the way to present self. And this color is gonna connect you from the future to the present moment. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna be feeling pulls towards this goal, towards this vision, and this color is going to hold that vibration. So notice where you're led moment to moment, again, allowing the life force energy to flow, right? So as all of your chakras are balanced and clear, the energy is flowing. There's no stoppage. There's no block, right? You're living in the truth in the light of love, right? So as you allow that, you're becoming that which you just decided that you want. So enjoy, and I will talk to you next week. Keep following your daily um, affirmations and practices so you stay on the path. All right, talk to you soon.